Hi, I'm Rebecca and this is Abundant City. I'm here today with my friend Marissa Roberto. Hello. She's the host of EP Daily mm -hmm. and a coffee reviewer extraordinaire. That's true, yeah. I do dabble in the coffee reviews on YouTube, but it's a show called Assholes and Americanos. Nice. Because, you know, we're kind of assholes <laughs> when we're reviewing Americanos, so it's nice. fun. You'll have to watch and see. And you are also an occasional paleo, gluten-free baker. Oh yes, I love baking. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm really excited to jump into the garden with you today because we're going to be talking about zucchinis. Yes, we yes. are. And zucchinis are amazing to bake with. So yeah. I usually go from store to kitchen. So the fact that we're going from garden to kitchen right now really excites me. Absolutely. Yeah. So here are our two zucchini plants. Two plants actually takes up about half of this bed. They are big plants. And and once you have a couple of them in the garden, they just keep producing more and more zucchinis and you get overwhelmed and you yeah. go, ah, stop zucchinis! <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of that happening right here. But they just keep growing and so um, it's great to have as many good recipes as you can to deal with them or otherwise you'll end up leaving zucchinis on your friends' doorsteps and ringing oh. the bell and running away, which <laughs> has happened. So the zucchinis grow kind of towards the bottom and we have to look through all this thick foliage to see where they're oh, growing. Okay. So we'll just take a look here and see what we can find today. The funny thing is like there's some actually small ones here that are just baby zucchinis and they're really small now but if you come back in like two days they'll suddenly be way Large. way larger. They grow very charge. fast. We have to take a look but those ones are a little bit small so we'll just see, we'll see what we can find. Sometimes they're actually okay. kind of hard to see. There's so many lovely zucchini flowers which yeah. I know Nana would love to cook with. They are delicious and a classic Italian cooking ingredient. Breaded and fried and all sorts of stuff but we should be able to find some good ones. Alright, yeah. look. Okay, I see a really big one. Oh yeah, there, there we go. That. Yeah, that one looks just about perfect. Oh. Um, so I, I, what I used to do was twist them off, okay. but I don't recommend that anymore because what would happen is I would twist it and then I would actually break the top of the zucchini oh. fruit and it's not the end of the world, but it's not really what we want. So what we'll try today is why don't you grab this knife and see if you All can right. just slice off the top of the stem. <gasps> okay, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just reach in here. It's a little bit difficult because they're not super accessible, but... Chop <laughs> mighty woman strength. All right. Look at this one! Yeah, there we go. <gasps> yeah. So, that's a perfect size to harvest them at. Oh, okay. And if they're smaller, it's fine, but you're not getting quite as much out of it. All right. And if they're any bigger than this, which can happen if we only left this for like two more days, oh. it would get quite a bit bigger and the quality of the fruit actually goes down. It gets kind of stringy inside. You get big seeds that you have to scoop out. This that. is good because it'll still be nice and dense okay. and that's what we want. So this is a kind of an ideal size for either slicing up or making muffins. I feel so dirty talking about zucchinis. I know. 